Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Tisha Marie. The Sephora VIB sale is coming up and you know what that means. This is like one of the only times of the year that Sephora is having a sale. We all know Sephora can get a little bit expensive. We all spend a little bit too many coins in Sephora. I know I do. When the Sephora VIB sale is coming up, I always make sure I start eyeing some things that I wanna pick up. But today I'm gonna be giving you guys my Sephora sale recommendations of things that I have been loving that I think that you should pick up. If you're interested in seeing my recommendations and my little wish list, then make sure you keep watching. Okay, surprisingly, I don't have very many makeup recommendations today. I don't know what it is, but I have just not been thrilled about makeup. Well, I've just been more into like fragrance and body care and skincare. Makeup just hasn't been doing it for me lately. I know, and I say that with like a full face of makeup on. Let me stop talking. Let me just give you guys my recommendations of things that I think that you should try. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is coming from Danessa Myricks. Y'all, this Blurring Balm Powder from Danessa Myricks when I tell you guys, I have been using this every single time I do my makeup. I do not do my makeup without this. I do have it on right now. I like it as a primer, but I also like it on days when I want my skin to look just like a little bit more smooth and I don't want to wear makeup. The magical thing about this product and one of the reasons that I love it so much is that it goes on like a cream, but it dries down to like a powdery thing finish and I am a combination oily skin girl and when I tell you guys this right here keeps my makeup in check this is a a wonderful amazing super amazing product Danessa Myricks has really just been knocking it out of the park with her makeup products I promise y'all every single product that I have tried by Danessa Myricks has just been crazy good I don't know what y'all doing over there at Danessa Myricks product development but keep doing it because y'all are y'all doing amazing work so yeah definitely check this out if you have not already the next thing that i'm going to recommend picking up from the sephora cell is the house labs foundation this is their triclone skin tech foundation the reason that i am recommending this product is because of the shade range like the shade range is crazy good i believe they have like 46 to 47 different shades and they have a really nice range for brown girls this is really good i really like this it's like a semi matte i want to call it like semi matte skin like i feel like this color is my skin in a bottle this foundation is really really good the bottle feels so luxurious definitely check it out if you are looking for a good foundation okay so that's it for makeup y'all literally two products the next thing that we are going to get into is skincare because i feel like i don't really talk to y'all about skincare enough on this channel and i am a skincare freak okay like but the first thing that i am going to recommend to you guys is this herbivore botanicals moon dew eye cream i was sent this in pr they're not paying me to post this this is not sponsored by them in any way shape or form and i've been loving it i'm gonna show y'all how much of it i have used like it's literally almost gone i have been using this like crazy this is another product that is magical first of all it has one percent bakuchio in it. it has peptides um if you guys are not familiar with bakuchio it's a retinol alternative some people break out when they use retinol some people just have sensitive skin bakuchio is the natural alternative to retinol when i tell y'all it smooths my under eyes out so so good like too good I use this alone morning and night. I use this under my makeup. It literally sits so nicely under my concealer. Like y'all see how my under eyes look right now. They look so smooth. And it is because of this product. Herbivore, don't stop making this. This eye cream is insanely good. I love this so much. Y'all check this out if you are looking for a really good eye cream. It's nice and thick, but it's not too thick. It's so so good. I love it so much. 
Now I'm gonna show you guys some moisturizers that I have been completely obsessed with. So the first one that I'm gonna show you guys is from the brand Kiehl's. And Kiehl's has become one of my favorite skincare brands this year. Every product that I have gotten from Kiehl's, I do get a lot of PR from Kiehl's. I'm not gonna sit here and tell y'all that I buy it with my own coin because she is very expensive, but I appreciate that they send me these products. When I tell y'all, I am obsessed with this cream. So this is their super multi-corrective cream. And I feel like I'm in that time frame where I really just need to be taking action to prevent aging. Like I don't feel like my skin looks like it's aging, even though I know that it is. I have been making sure that I'm using products that are good for anti-aging. So this product says that it visibly firms, lifts, smooths, boosts radiance, it moisturizes, it evens texture, it enhances, and it gives you a healthy complexion. Okay, first of all, let me show you how much of it is left. I really use these products, y'all. When I tell y'all this makes my skin feel like baby skin, when I use this, I feel like my skin on my face is like baby smooth baby soft and it just feels so so hydrated so i would only use this at night and when i woke up in the morning when i tell you my skin was glowing like glowing i do have like very very fine lines on my forehead i've this smoothed them out so much this does all of the things i'm so sad that i'm running out of this because this little jar costs 70 dollars and the jar that is 2.5 ounces is 85 dollars so she's an expensive girl so this is a good time to grab this from sephora i'm so sad that i'm almost out of this but i'm definitely going to be repurchasing this so this is something that i'm also putting on my wish list because i can't be without this Okay, so moving on, I do have another moisturizer, a facial moisturizer that I want to show you guys. And she's a little bit more affordable. So this one is the Ole Henriksen True Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This one, I want to say it's like $45. I love this. So this has vitamin C in it. Vitamin C helps so much with brightening. And this product has really helped to brighten my skin. Like I told you guys, I have darkness here. I kind of stopped using this because I didn't want to be without it. I wanted to save a little bit of it. I don't know what sense that makes. So I started using this instead. This is just as good. It's almost as good as this one. This, I feel like it's a lighter texture. It is like a gel type of cream. It's not as thick as the Kiehl's but it does moisturize. This is one that I can use in the morning and at night because it doesn't leave my skin feeling like super greasy and having to wear it like all day and layering it on top of my serums and everything. But this is really good. It absorbs into my skin really, really quickly. I don't have any problems with like oiliness or anything when I wear this. But y'all, this is really, this is a really, really nice product. It also smells good. I know that that doesn't matter to a lot of people when it comes to like skincare products that you put on your face, but this smells like orange sherbet. This is also good for helping to reduce lines. So if you guys have like any type of like fine lines that you're trying to get rid of and prevent more fine lines, then this is one that you can use for that as well. So I do love the Olay Henriksen. I had used their eye cream before, the brightening eye cream, and it's also really nice. So I am glad to have this and I do recommend that you guys try this out if you're looking for a moisturizer. Okay, so another product that I'm gonna show you guys, I guess you could call it skincare, is from Summer Fridays. This is their Lip Butter Balm. This is the brown sugar shade. This is like perfect for brown girls. Like it's so, so pretty. I'm gonna show it to you guys on the back of my hand because I've got lipstick on, but it's just really a really pretty brown. Like look at that. It's like the prettiest, shade of nude it just looks so so good on the lips and it's so hydrating like my lips get really dry around this time of year and the summer fridays balm i will forever buy this because it's so good i ran through the other ones that came in the tin because 
I like kept them in my purse for those days when I don't want to wear lip gloss I don't want to wear lipstick but my lips still need to have something on them and still look nice like it's really shiny like a gloss but it just feels so hydrating like a bomb and it stays on for hours if you guys have not tried this lip butter balm from summer fridays i highly recommend especially in this brown sugar shade like love this get this put this in your cart right now okay let's go ahead and get into body care because i do have a couple of items that i do want to show you guys the first one is coming from the brand topicals and it is their slather exfoliating body serum now i know the girls have recently been talking about body serums like we have necessaire and there are a few other ones that people have been talking about but this one this is the one right here. This is a black owned brand. Y'all know I love my black owned brands. This is amazing. I put this on as like my first step when I get out of the shower. My skin loves this. What I love about this is it is exfoliating, but it's like a chemical exfoliant. It gets my skin so buttery baby soft and smooth this makes your skin feel like brand new fresh skin okay this is gonna give you brand new skin they're gonna give you renewed skin but this has retinol in it lactic acid urea and squalene it says that you should use this two to three times a week it's a lotion consistency so it's like really light it's not like a really thick cream or anything the only thing that i will say is to be careful when you use this because when you squeeze it a ton comes out so just use a very light hand when you are squeezing this if you want baby soft skin then get this so the next body cream that i'm going to show you guys is from sol de janeiro this is the beja floor body cream this this is the scent in the body cream that you want to get during the Sephora sale. Not only is this hydrating, but y'all, this smells so good. I'm addicted to this. I cannot stop using this. I know that it costs like $45, but I don't care. I will buy this over and over and over. As long as Soda Nero keeps making this, I'm buy it. Like I'm addicted. You know what I'm saying? I'm addicted. Dicked it, dicked it. That's me. Like they put crack in this because girl, what? I can't stop using it. I can't stop smelling it. It smells so good. And I'm so addicted to it that I bought the big bottle of the body mist because it smells heavenly. I can't stop smelling this. I can't stop smelling myself every time I use this. And unfortunately this is just a body mist. So it doesn't last that long, but that's okay. Cause I got the big boy. I got, I got the big boy. So I can spray, 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 spray. And it's gonna last me for quite a bit, but I'm also gonna get this in the smaller bottle. This is something else that I recommend y'all pick up. Like y'all see how big, this is almost as big as my head, but get this, whether you can get it in the big size, the small size, you can get this in the big size or the small size. It doesn't matter. Just get it because it smells so good this came out in the summertime so i feel like it's meant to be a summer fragrance but i don't care i am wearing this year round because i want to smell like this every day all day if you like floral scents and that's the thing like i'm not even a floral fragrance type of girl but this just smells too good it, it just gets me these two get these so that now if y'all are watching this please make this in a perfume the next one that i'm going to show you guys that i think that you should pick up is also from sol de janeiro and this is another body mist but this is their brazilian crutch cheriosa number 40. this one leans more toward a fall winter scent you can also use this in the summer like that's the thing about sol de scents is you can use them all in my opinion you can use them all all year round this one is the black amber plum and vanilla woods this smells really, really good. This is more of like a fruity floral, but it's got like a deeper woodsy, not woodsy, but it's definitely a deeper scent. This one is just like a nice, deep, sexy, fruity floral. I definitely smell the plum. I'm getting 
the vanilla woods and i also smell something like floral in here what is it jasmine and brazilian orchid i feel like you really cannot go wrong with any of the so de janeiro products i like to spray these in my hair and it says it's a hair and body fragrance mist so sometimes i'll spray a little bit in my hair just for you know like that little extra scent i've got it on my body but i also want to smell it and want you to smell it when i flip my hair this one is a good one to have especially during like fall and winter time so definitely pick up the Cheriosa number 40 so good okay and the last recommendation that I have for you guys is a actual perfume it's a fragrance and it is coming from Kayali if y'all watch this channel y'all know that I love the Kayali brand this one is the love fest burning cherry y'all see that i got the big bottle i did do a review of this on my channel if you have not checked it out already i will put it up here in the cards and as you can see since i'm recommending it that means that i love it so much i did get the big bottle and you can see the huge dent that i've already put in this hi i'm just a huge fan of the cherry note and perfumes i don't know what it is but something about it just gets me girl this smells so sexy it just really hits right now during the fall but it has like this nice woody dry down and the sweetness of the cherry the way that they mix together freaking incredible this has easily become my favorite kayali scent check this out during the sephora sale okay now that we've got my recommendations out of the way let's talk a little bit about things that i have on my wish list so the first thing that i want to talk to you guys about since i just told you about fragrances is the killian angel share it smells like cinnamon apple pie and it smells boozy and that sounds like my type of scent especially for right now during the fall and winter I want to smell like that so yeah i have that on my wish list so the next item that i have on my wish list is coming from fenty skin so they just released their butter drop in like this limited edition soft gold shimmer and it's the same as the butter drop that they have out right now but the scent smells like cinnamon and it has like a nice soft glow to it the whipped oil body butter that they have out right now it already makes your skin glowy but the shimmer and the limited edition one makes your skin like even more glowy and y'all know i'm all about glowing skin so that one is definitely on my wish list in my cart right now all right so the next thing that i have on my wish list is coming from pat mcgrath so every year she releases a limited edition palette usually it's like during the holidays or right before the holidays come up i want to say it has 18 shades in it this one is called the celestial nirvana palette and i love a pat mcgrath eyeshadow palette especially the ones that she releases during this time of year but the one that came out this year specifically looks really really pretty because it's almost like a rainbow palette and I can get my VIB discount on top of it yeah I'm definitely gonna be adding that to my cart so yeah you guys that is pretty much all that I have on my wish list leave me some comments down below and let me know what you have on your wish list what you have in your carts for the Sephora VIB sale that is coming up and that's it for today so thank you guys so much for watching if you have not already make sure you are subscribed to the channel give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content and make sure you have your post notifications turned on so that you don't miss it anytime I upload a new video and I will see you guys next time.